Hey guys, it's always Hope here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to share with you guys a really cool mod that allows you to have weather conditions directly on the lock screen of your iPhone without the need of a jailbreak. It supports the latest iPhones and the latest iOS 15. And in just about five minutes of your time, I can show you how to do this. You only have to set it up once. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look on how to get weather conditions directly on the lock screen of iPhone without the need of a jailbreak. And as always, if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest, iOS news make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now as I mentioned this allows you to get weather conditions directly on the lock screen I'll have the links to the developer in the description down below as well as the link to this web page here you want to open this in Safari and you see right here that you have the read more category it shows you some of the features some of the requirements in terms of device and software make sure you read that thoroughly and you also have some of the known issues so once you click the links in the description it'll bring you here make sure you click download and this will redirect you to the shortcuts application we're going to be using a shortcut again in about five minutes i can show you how to set this up you only have to do it once click allow or add shortcut here it's going to allow and add the shortcuts to the list and simply just click on run and now if you come across any issues or any error just continue to run the shortcut quit the shortcuts app and continue to run the prompts now you want to go ahead and click allow and okay through these prompts and momentarily we should get the live weather conditions directly on the lock screen. Now right there, it says communication problems. There's nothing happening as of yet. As you can see, the lock screen looks exactly the same. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to quit the shortcuts app and I'm going to try to run that once again. So let me go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi in case I'm having issues with Wi-Fi and let's go ahead and run the shortcut once again. So once we run the shortcut for the second time, if you get any communication issues, any problems, make sure you have a proper network connection click allow. And then just continue through the prompts here, as I mentioned. Let's go back to the lock screen here and allow these prompts directly on the cover sheet here. So it takes about a few minutes for this process to be completed. Just again, just click always allow on all the prompts that you get. And in just a matter of seconds, boom, you get right there the live weather directly on the lock screen of your iPhone. Doesn't that look amazing? You have the clouds, you have the weather conditions. By the way, the flash works as intended. The camera also works as well. I'm not going to activate the camera, but it does work as well as you can see right there. Um, it's just super cool. One of the coolest mods I've seen, and these are going to be the weather conditions directly on the lock screen. Now, if you want to use a custom wallpaper, I can also show you how to change the wallpaper to a custom wallpaper. We have three themes to choose from. You have light mode, dark mode, and classic lock screen. So you see right here, we have three different options. So let's go to some of the features right there. Themes, dark, light, and classic. I'm going to show you how to change that as well. But before I show you, make sure you create an album with one photo for the photo that you want on the lock screen of your iPhone. So for example, I've created one album that says new iPhone 13 wallpaper with one photo, which is this one right here, one image. And that's the one that I'm going to use for the actual weather conditions. So if we head on over to the shortcut itself, you see these three dots on the top right. Just click on the three dots here. And right here, if you want to change it to a light mode or a dark mode or a classic lock screen mode, all you have to do is change this text below here, run the shortcut, and it will change. I want to keep it dark mode. It is case sensitive, so make sure you type it exactly as it is. So capital. D-A-R-K, etc. So make sure you type it exactly as it is if you want to change that to the classic or the light mode. But for the photos, which is probably one of the things you guys are most excited about, you want to go head on over to this particular section here. If you want photos, you want to change uh, to album. The auto option down here, we want to change that to album. So we're going to scroll down here and change that to album. So let's go ahead and type album here. Once we do that, just click done. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the photos extension right below that. Right there it is. You want to click on recent and then you want to type in that folder or that album that we created. It was new iPhone 13 wallpaper is what I called it. There it is. So we're going to change it to that. And then we're going to run the shortcut and this should change the actual wallpaper in just a few seconds. You click that play button on the bottom right and it should change the wallpaper to the one that you selected. If it doesn't do that, just wait for the actual uh, shortcut to continue and once it's done you can head on back to the lock screen click allow 
always allow, and this should change it momentarily here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. There we go. It changed it to the actual wallpaper. So that is how to change the theme to like and dark mode and classic or change the wallpaper on your iPhone for live weather conditions directly on the iPhone. Now, they don't update every time. You have to rerun the shortcut in order to update the weather conditions. But just having these really cool uh, weather and clouds directly on the lock screen for the day because it gives you the chances of the rain for today. It gives you the conditions at the moment, the weather at the moment. It just looks really, really cool. And I think you guys will enjoy this shortcut. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you running into any issues? I would like to hear from you. Again, developer will be linked down below. Thank you for watching this quick video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.